Good morning, caregivers. It is Thursday, Tasty Thursday, on Let's Talk Dementia Live on Facebook. We're not going to cook anything today. I had not cooked in forever. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I'm glad that you're here to join me. Um, I hope you don't look too close because my eyes look like I had not slept in a month. Not too far off from what they should look like, but anyway. A special thank you to our sponsors of this show, Life in the Carolinas, where it's never a bad day for a good story. Don't you know that's true? And you can find them at lifeinthecarolinas.com as well as on YouTube. And HD Imports. They are the mechanic of choice for the Howell household, and they repair and maintain your Honda, Acura, Toyota, Kia, and Hyundai. They are located on Flint Street Extension in Rock Hill, 803-985-0985. If you're not close by, it's worth the trip, believe me. Well, I've been updating you each day on my mama. She's still kicking. Well, she ain't really kicking anything, but she's still with us. In fact, mama can't move any of her extremities except her right arm, and that's the arm that um, does the tremoring because of Parkinson's. It's very interesting. But I was sitting there with my sister yesterday watching mama sleep, which is what she's done for just about two solid days now. Um, and I said, I got no clue what I'm gonna talk about on tomorrow's Facebook show. And she said, I think you need to talk about something different. <laughs> I said, something besides death and dying? Why? It's the most you know wonderful conversation in the world. She said, oh, please talk about something different. So not going to talk specifically about death and dying right now. Aren't you glad? Somebody should clap. I'm just telling you. <laughs> but it is part of, part of everybody's journey. But I want to talk to you about what I'm thankful for. Well, lots of things I'm thankful for. You're probably thankful for some of the same things, but I may throw some things in that you're like, huh, you're thankful for that? But of course, I am thankful for my mama. I'm thankful for all that we've had together. I am thankful that at this minute, my mama is dying. See how that's one of those things you're going, huh? I really am. I've been praying for some time that the Lord would take her on and before things got bad for her, and he's doing that. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful, woo, you don't even know how thankful I am that my mama's laying peacefully still, peacefully still. She's not thrashing, she's not complaining of pain, she's just laying there. Whoa, what a huge blessing, huge blessing that is, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that my husband has been able to be my Uber all these days. We own two cars, but one of them happens to live in Florida, and one of them lives here with us in South Carolina. So we, we are a one-car family. Y'all know how challenging that can be. Oh, my word. Yeah, you get ready to go somewhere, and you realize you can't go because Michael's got the car. We are not real bright. So he's had to Uber me back and forth and take care of things that needed to be done and come back and visit with mom and then go do this. And so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful our daughter got to come home for a few days to visit with my mom and say her final goodbyes. And she got home safely. Although out of the city of Charlotte yesterday, our esteemed vice president was departing. Um, and her flight was delayed, delayed like an hour and 15 minutes. And then when we decided to leave my mama last night and come home, we sat, we traveled probably four miles in 35 minutes. Oh yeah, traffic backed up like crazy because of him, but that's okay. We protect the vice president. Yeah. But anyway, I'm thankful she got to come. I am thankful that I have been able to sleep in my own bed for several nights. That's a good thing. I am thankful that I did sleep all the way through till 3.30 this morning. I think I'll be a little more thankful if I could have slept a little longer. <laughs> Just saying, Lord. You know, I wouldn't mind sleeping all the way to like 10 o'clock. But eh, when I got up, I did get some things done. I am thankful that I have been able to arrange my work schedule so that I can be with Mama as much or as little as my heart desires. I'm so thankful for that. I'm thankful that I've had the energy to come on here and talk to you guys and share my story. And I am very, very thankful for how many of you are writing me and saying you're praying for me and my family. Um, I just produced a podcast this morning at four o'clock this morning because Carol hasn't done one in about two weeks and I really need to get one out. And a guy wrote me, a gentleman, saying that he's praying for us. I don't know this man. 
But what a blessing that is. And so many of you have done that. So I'm thankful for you that you watch and that you are sending out your good thoughts and good wishes and most of all your prayers. I thank you for that. So I'm thankful for that. I am thankful that we have been able to um, go out to eat on these days because we've not been home and we can't just fly home and eat. Mama lives, you know, about 35, 40 minutes away um, and that we've had money to go out to eat and we don't eat big. We're not that kind of people, you know. I've never been to Roos Chris, but if you want to take me one day, we could talk about it. <laughs> but we've been able to have healthy food and I'm thankful it has settled on my stomach. Yeah, I've been a little concerned that with all the stress that the old nasty ulcer might talk, but yeah, it hasn't, so I'm thankful for that. Now, something weird I'm thankful for, because y'all expect weird out of I me. Mean, if you don't expect weird to come from me, you have not watched this show very much. Go back and watch all the old episodes. They're on YouTube. YouTube, type in Let's Talk Dementia. You're gonna find, I don't know, 200 episodes. Uh, 200 videos there in all of our episodes of this show, but I digress. Thankful for Hal Doll. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking if I just had a little bit right now, I might feel better. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't even like taking Tylenol, so you know. But Hal Doll, when they started my mama on Hal Doll, it was uh, two weeks ago, you know, something like that. Um, I was like, hmm, okay. Haldol is one of the medications that if you have dementia, it can make the dementia crazy in a lot of people. But my mama needed something um, in her final days here for comfort. And so many of them, I knew mom was allergic to. So we got down to Haldol. I'm like, all I can tell you is we'll try it, I guess. And if something funky happens, we'll stop it. But it's worked. And Haldol can be given in liquid form because mama can't swallow pills. Um, so they can just put it right inside her mouth with a little syringe and she swallowed every time it's been needed Because so many times it'll just lay there in folks because they can no longer swallow she can still swallow and How doll has not done anything but relax her isn't that wonderful? I'm thankful that God gave some people ability to make good drugs and to figure out what works um and to figure out what doesn't work too. So I'm thankful for that. Did you guys just hear my husband sneeze in the background? Good gosh, the people up, up um, next door probably heard it too. <laughs> okay, so what else am I thankful for? I am thankful that um, my husband did laundry for us and that was a challenge because I don't think the man has operated the washing machine in years and years that the laundry's done. I'm thankful for that. I am thankful that I can come home and sit down on my sofa and hug on my little dachshund. We have a miniature dachshund. That is so calming for me. You know, pet therapy is a wonderful thing for your folks with dementia. Hey, it's just a wonderful thing, end of story, period. It's good for everybody, pet therapy. And I, she curls up on me or she lays back and puts her feet up in the air and her head back and looks at me as if to say, here I am, you may love me all you want. Well, that is exactly what she's saying. And that calm stroking of her. I'm very thankful that I have her little self to love on. Wasn't very, very thankful for her when I took her out early this morning. She refused to do anything. Eh, I feel a little less thankful right that time. <laughs> I am thankful for energy and strength. I am thankful for hope for tomorrow. I am thankful that no matter what happens today or tomorrow, a month from now, a year from now, or for the rest of my life, that it's all in God's plan, that he has my steps ordered from the day I was born. P.S. My birthday's coming up, so he's been doing this for a while. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful my mama's steps are ordered too, and that no matter what I pray for, and this has been my revelation, I think I told y'all that, and I told somebody, my revelation that I don't have to continually to continually ask God for everything that I want, especially concerning my mama. He knows it, and he's got her plans made from the minute she was born, March 15th, 1939, in the mountains of North Carolina. This day was planned. Tonight was planned. It is planned. What I am praying for is that God would help my heart to trust more and believe more and to relax in his spirit. And I'm thankful he's doing that for me. And I'm thankful that he 
shakes his head every once in a while when I mess up and goes, I still love her. She's hard-headed and forgets, but I still love her. I'm thankful for that. So that's just a few things on my mind. I'm thankful for a whole bunch of stuff. Did you know a study was done that if you write down 10 things a day that you're thankful for, the effect that it has on your body is more effective than antidepressants? Hmm. Michael and I did that for the longest time, um, but then we, he would make a list and hand it to me and go, here, you finish, you put six or eight, you know, not six or eight, you put three or four more and we'll have our 10 for the day. But then he had already listed all of mine. I'm like, you can't list my thankfuls. You got to list your thankfuls. This is just not fair. <laughs> but it is very good for you. Keep that list. Well, I am going to say goodbye and tell you that when I see you on Monday, if my mom is alive, I'm going to be shy. I mean, she's on day uh, 14, 15. This is day 16 of not eating. It's just incredible. But God's going to work it all out. I hope to be here Monday morning. If she passes, I hope to gather the energy to see you on Monday. And because this helps me, it feeds my spirit to be able to spend some time and see your names pop up on the screen. A thanks to our sponsors, HD Imports located on Flint Street Extension, 803-985-0985, repair of your Honda, Kia, Toyota, Acura, and Hyundai. Did I say them all? I don't know. And Life in the Carolinas at www.lifeinthecarolinas.com, as well as on YouTube. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you find something in your world and in the world of your person that you care for, your L-O, y'all know that means loved one. Took me forever to figure that out on Facebook. Something that brings joy. Something that makes you think, I'm really thankful for that. Blessings and smiles on your day. Bye-bye.